electromagnetism or electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic force is one of the four fundamental interactions in nature. This force is described by electromagnetic fields and is active in the interaction of electrically charged particles and the interaction of uncharged magnetic fields with electrical conductors. Induction heating is the process of heating an electrically conducting object, such as a metal, by electromagnetic, electromagnetic induction, where eddy currents are generated within the metal and resistance feeds due heating of the metal. I am Thomas, and my group mates are Zaktivir, Ashwin, and Tianchu. And we will be applying the concepts of electromagnetism and electro electromagnetic induction to demonstrate induction heating. Thank you. Before we begin the construction of the model, let's cover the components used. These are some of the components necessary for the construction of the heater. The function of the heat sink is to dissipate the accumulated heat from MOSFETs and diodes, while the function of the copper wire is to interconnect all present components as per circuit diagram. MOSFETs are present to act as alternating switches, while diodes are present to enable one directional flow of current. Capacitors are there to form an oscillating circuit while the choke resists AC current. Resistors are there to regulate the opening and closing of the MOSFET gates. We also use the 1.5 mm thick copper wire which helps to form alternating electromagnetic flux. Lastly, a power adapter is used to supply 15 volts at 2 ampere current. This is a circuit diagram that we use for the construction of the model. The inductor coil L1 was constructed through the use of a cylindrical bar which was used as a mold to structure its shape. From the middle point, five turns are constructed in a clockwise direction while five turns are constructed in the anti-clockwise direction. The choke, diodes and MOSFETs were assembled on a heat sink so as to prevent components aforementioned from overheating. Capacitors are connected in parallel with inductor coil L1 to form a tank circuit. This entire setup was then connected to a power adapter controlled by a switch, which will then supply electricity to the circuit. This circuit diagram shown has two different circuit parts to take. Both of them are controlled by diodes and the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFETs for short. These two components are arranged in a way so that only one MOSFET will be active at any one point of time. For instance, when T1 is on and T2 is off, it enables one route while the converse provides another. These two alternating routes are the key to the alternating current that's required for induction heating. When electrical current flows through a conductor, it produces a magnetic field around the current. By alternating the current, the field is reversed. Placing a ferromagnetic object in the alternating magnetic field causes the material to heat up. Localized currents, called eddy currents, are created within the model. These metals have a certain amount of electrical resistance. The circulating eddy currents flow against the metal's resistance, causing it to heat up. 
In a typical induction heating system, alternating currents passes through the conductive cables, creating a magnetic field in the region. The reversing magnetic fields induce eddy currents, which, as previously mentioned, creates heat. It does not rely on contact, unlike conventional heating procedures. Heating has been around for decades and is an efficient method for heating metal parts. Its traditional uses are many. Now, induction heating is being used successfully in industrial and commercial products. Induction heating allows the targeted heating of an applicable item for applications including surface hardening, melting, brazing, soldering, and heating to fit. Iron and its alloys respond best to induction heating due to their ferromagnetic nature. Some common applications of induction heating would be cooking, welding of metals, mass heating treatment, and plastic processing.